Okay, number one says, oh, by the way, we are on page 50 in our Star Master book, checking it together. Number one, Coach Alexander gives yearly fitness tests to the students at Montgomery Intermediate School. The table below shows the number of tests he gave last year. Which number sentence shows the best estimate of how many fitness tests Coach Alexander gave last year? Okay, what does estimate mean? When they said, which number sentence shows the best estimate, what does that mean, Aaliyah? To round. To round. So, I look at my answer choices and I see some of them are rounding to the hundreds, some of them are rounding to the tens. Okay? So, I'm just going to start with tens first because usually that is going to give you a more accurate estimate than if you round to the hundreds. Okay, so I'm going to go up and round each one of my numbers to the nearest 10. So to do that, we start at the 10s and look next door. The 6 tells me to round which way, up or down? Uh, up. Up. So I need to take the 6 and add 1 to it. So 470. Okay, on to the second number. So we start at the tens and look next door. A three. Does that tell me to round up or down? Down. 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 So this tens digit, what happens to it? It stays a four, right? If we round down, that tens place stays. What happens to the three? It to a zero. To a zero. Good. And the numbers in front? Stay the same. Very good. Okay, 496, if I'm running to the tens place, I look at the ones digit. Six tells me to round which way? Six to round up. Okay, so this is actually going to go up to a 10. Can I have a 10 in one place? No. No, so what does that mean I need to do? We have to add that over to the hundreds place. So now the four becomes uh, five. five, and then everything behind becomes zero. Okay, so these are the numbers if we round to the ten. So let's see if there's any answer choices that match what we have. 470, 440, and 500. C. So C is correct. Okay, number two, Matt bought two packages of gum for 64 cents each. He also bought a candy bar for 75 cents. Which expression shows the best estimate for how much money Matt spent? Can we already eliminate an answer choice before we even begin? A. What did they do wrong on A? I had 60 and 80, but they did it the end of the 60 and 80. It's a No, the numbers are correct. But. Yes, you should have two packages of gum and one candy bar. So, how many items is that? Three. So, you shouldn't just have two numbers, you should have three. Okay? Now, um, let's go ahead and look at our numbers and how we would estimate those. We have 64 and 75, two 64s, okay? So I'm going to round to the nearest 10. So we look at the ones digit, and the four tells me to round which way? Down. down. Good. So if I round down, this six, what happens to it? Stays the same. What happens to the numbers behind? Turn into a zero. Okay. For the next one, 75, we look at the ones. Allie, do I round up or down if it's a five? Up. Up. Good. So what can I do with this seven? Uh, Kelsey? You No, it doesn't. If we round up, it goes up. So it goes to an 8. Good, Kaylee. Plus 1. And the second digit becomes a 0. 
Okay, so I should have two 60s and an 80. The only one that matches that is C. Okay. Number three, Sawyer Elementary School has 193 boys and 231 girls. Which expression best or shows the best estimate for the total number of students that attend Sawyer Elementary School? Okay, Allie, what does it mean to find a total? Add them. You add them. Good. So we we know all of these are correct because they're adding, but now we need to fi figure out which numbers we need to use. Two, three, if I look at my answer choices, what does it look like they're rounding to? The nearest, the nearest hundred. The nearest hundred. So we're going to round both of these to the nearest hundred. Okay, so if I am rounding to the hundreds, what digit do I need to look at? Brandon? If I'm rounding to the hundreds, what place do I need to look at? The nine. The nine. That's the tens place. So does a nine tell us to round up or down, Brandon? Up. Up. Very good. So if I round up, what can I do? Who knows what I do next? Allie? Round to the three. No, um, draw the two. It turns into two hundred. Very good. This one goes up to a two. And the digits behind it become what? Zero. Zero. Okay. Now 231, I'm going to look at the tens place. Three tells me to round which way, Bryson? Uh, down. Down. So if I round down, what happens to the hundreds? It stays the same. Everything behind it zero. becomes a zero. Good. So 200 plus 200, which would be? 400. B, Four. yes, 400. Number four, Gregory, stop playing with that. The Tyler Rose Garden has 421 pink rose bushes, 385 red rose bushes, and 179 yellow rose bushes. Which is the best estimate of how many more pink rose bushes than yellow rose bushes the garden has? Did we hear a key word in there, Javea? How many more? How not how many, but how many more means to what? Add. Subtract. Subtract. Y'all been learning that since first grade. How many more means to subtract? Okay. What other important information do we need to circle or underline? Aaliyah? Estimate. Estimate. Anything else? Bryson? Which okay, but in the question, what two colors of rose bushes do we need? We need pink and yellow. So we need to make sure we're using the correct numbers because there's three of them. We only need two. How much is pink? Good. And yellow? 179. So we did not need red. Okay. Now, what do we do with these two numbers? Gregory, what do we do with these two numbers? We subtract them. Subtract them. Now you can either round first and then subtract, or you can subtract and then round when you get your answer. Sometimes it's easier to subtract a rounded number than it is a regular number. So let's go ahead and just round them first. 
If I look at my answer choices, what are they rounding to for most of them? Two. Two, one, three. There's no such thing as the twos. I can't round to the twos. There's no twos place. The tens or the hundreds, but most of them are rounded to the nearest ten. So I'm going to do the nearest ten. If I look next door, it's a one. So would I round up or down? Down. Down. So 420. Okay. Circle the nine. Round up. Round up. So what does this seven become? Uh, An eight. Okay. Zero minus zero. Zero. Two minus eight. Can't do, you can't do that because eight is bigger. So we go to the four and borrow ten more, right? Yeah, so the four becomes a three. Good. Two becomes a twelve. Twelve. Twelve minus eight. Four. Three minus one. Two. Two hundred forty. And I see that exact answer. So B would be correct. Okay, last one. Go ahead, Kelsey. Davis, Davis plant farm and Davis Okay, so they want to know the best estimate of red. We already know the pink, right? Yes. So we know there's 195 pink. We know there's 287 red and pink combined. So that's your total, right? Yes. Yeah. If I do a whole part part, there's 287 in all for red and pink. Pink is 195, and we don't know red, so how can I find the missing piece? We can add these two? No, round them. We, well, we do need to round, but what am I going to do next? Subtract them. Subtract. Remember when you have a missing part, you have to subtract. Okay? So let's round our two numbers and then subtract. Um, if I look at my answer choices, what does it look like they're rounding to for most of them? They're rounding to the hundreds. The hundreds? Okay, we got about half. So let's go ahead and do the to the hundreds first. I look at the eight. So what would it round to? Or would we round up or down if it's an eight? Uh, <laughs> round up. Okay, so Javea, what happens to the hundreds digit if I round up? It turns into a no. When you round up, that digit goes up by one, so it would become a three. What, what happens to the numbers behind it? They go to a zero, okay? Now, 195, if I circle a nine, Ellie, do it, does that mean to round up or down? Okay, so we got that part down. It's this part that we get confused on. What do I do next? That stays the same. If I round up, it, this hundreds place has to go up, okay? So it becomes a two. Okay? The numbers behind it turn to a zero, okay? Now those are nice and easy to subtract, right? Zero, zero, one. B is correct. So we need to practice on some rounding some more. Okay. All right. We will need our math spiral out today, so go ahead and put your books away and get out your math spiral.